Hello, and welcome to Narrowboat Life Unlocked. We're Paul and Anthony, and together with our dog Dexter, we explore the beautiful UK rivers and canals on our 57-foot narrowboat. Why not get the kettle on and jump on board? You join us this week on the Trenton Mersey Canal and we're moored just between Croxton Flash and Croxton Aqueduct. We've got friends meeting us and we're going to head into the centre of Middlewich and then turn right onto the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union Canal. Hello. Morning. <laughs> Where are we? I've got something out here. Middle, near Middlewich anyway. Yeah, uh, not far from the Deep Lock, near Croxton Park I think it's called isn't it? Big Lock it's called. Yeah, Croxton Park. It's just up yeah, that Croxton way. Park. So we've got friends meeting us. They've already arrived. So we've uh, got the covers down on the boat. We're going to head that way. Hopefully, go into Middlewich, maybe grab a bite to eat. Yep, and then head towards Bunbury. Because um, I don't think we can get to Chester at the moment. Cause no, because yeah. of closures. Yeah, I think there's a lock about halfway to Chester. So we shall see. We'll head towards Bunbury. If we have to turn around and come back, that's fine by us, isn't it? Because as you know, there are a lot of closures. Yeah. There's more canal closed than open at the moment, isn't there? There is in the north. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So fingers crossed we can make it to Chester because yeah. that would be good for you guys and good for us. We'd love to go to Chester Zoo, wouldn't we? No, I don't like no. zoos. <laughs> but I'd, I'd love <laughs> no. to go to Chester. Chester's yeah. a beautiful city. Yeah. We've never been to Chester on our boat. This is the furthest we've been on yeah. our boat, isn't it? It is. Right, we shall crack on, otherwise our friends will be here and they'll be tired of walking. Yeah. See you in a minute. See you later. Oh, it was nice and quiet here, wasn't it? Yeah, it slept really well. Yeah. Our friends Bill and Russell jumped on the boat at this point and this is the very narrow Croxton aqueduct that crosses over the River Dane. Uh, navigated on Google Maps, it gave an hour and six minutes to get in. Yeah. Down from Yeah. This is Big Lock, so known as it's 14 feet wide, it will be the biggest lock that we're doing today and just next to it is the Big Lock pub. In the past the pub was a bottle making factory and even stables for canal boat horses. Yes. Yeah, can do. We've never been to Middlewich on our boat, but we have been to the Middlewich Boat Festival. Didn't realise this was Big Lock, right by the pub where we saw all our friends, and this is where everybody was trading, just down this way. We think we're going to moor up and get some lunch. Looks nice at the Big Lock. What's the one to say? Something serious. <laughs> oh, you went. <laughs> you always pull the water. <laughs> That's a cheeky son. After mooring up, we went to the Big Lock pub for lunch. We can definitely recommend the food. We thought it was excellent and it's dog friendly. Bill and Russell were actually viewers of the channel and got in touch. We've met a few times for drinks and they've become good friends. Now, what what are these doing? Are they, is there a lock in front? No idea. I hope not. Or are these moored? Sure. Well, I've not seen a lot this narrow since the Huddersfield. Look at that. It doesn't even look wide enough for a boat from here. The good thing about these narrow locks is they do fill quickly.
Has he knocked them out? No, he's gone out to play for some it's been ages since we've done any locks ourselves and it was really good to have some help and some company. Bill was really helpful at the locks. Russell not so much, he just sat on the back of the boat chatting to Anthony. There's a wooden bill in it, like a train bomb. Are you going to start setting the lock for the next I'm people? Gonna, I was thinking of doing that. Because that's what I have built to open that one, but yeah. set this one up. You alright there, Russell? <laughs> Fix it in Venice. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> we were advised to hang back from this lot because the bye wash was quite fierce. Look at that, beautifully done Anthony. That is a sharp bend that and a very narrow lock entrance. I think he's taking advice from Russell. Here, go. Uh, you go past bridge 169, then you turn right. Okay. On a hot sunny day like this, it's a real relief to be down in the locks, they're really cool. The only thing is, he's going to do all the work, isn't it? There's a guy behind us now. Oh, is he? Being impatient and hurrying as well. Well, don't let him. No. <laughs> Those three guys left all the front gates open. That one, that one. No wonder there's no water on the system. No. <laughs> Are you getting on here? Yeah. On, the, on the right? <laughs> if you remember at the start of the year in one of our earlier vlogs we got a tyre wrapped around our prop in one of the locks at Blackburn and with Russell having good knowledge of the area he was advising us where we should have moored for the night. Oh that um yeah, well, I wanted to stop there. Some calip calypso. Calypso, yeah. I wanted to stop there. So the food's quite good. And it's a good atmosphere. There's like some parts going forward. So we won't sleep. Well, we didn't put this sleep anyway. We chopped that thing around the prop. So if we'd have stopped there, 
Watch out, that's her. We'd have been fine. That would never have happened. Oh, she said thanks for doing that, Bill. Oh, all right. <laughs> As you take a sharp right here, you enter Wardle Canal. Now, Wardle Canal is the shortest canal in the UK at 154 feet long. It connects the Trent and Mersey Canal to the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union Canal. There's plenty of water points, eh? Yeah. I'm not great, eh? Talks <laughs> and everything, though. Another lap straight through it, eh? Oh, yeah. There is one close by. Oh, it's straight in there. <coughs> oh, watch your camera before. It's fine. Right. It's that right one, Wardle Canal, shortest one in England. How much is what? I'm going to try and get off here, actually. Okay. What to do the lock? Yeah. I can manage. Go back your head. Go to Paul. That'd be alright, thanks. So why is Wardle Canal such a short canal and why does it exist in the first place? Well, when the Middlewich branch of the then Cheshire Canal was built in 1830, the Trent and Mersey Canal Company insisted there should be no direct connection at Middlewich, so built this short canal to join the two and charged large tolls for freight traffic. The cottage on the left is the old lock keeper's cottage and used to be occupied by Maureen Shaw. And Maureen used to give advice to hirers of boats and even experienced boaters. She wasn't afraid to tell them if they were doing anything wrong. She was well known and this is why this is also called Maureen's Lock. And, uh, see you now. See you later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are you stopping today? Well, yeah, I think we will be. What? Along here? Well, this is the stretch we're on now, isn't it? Sorry? We're not turning again now. Yeah, I know. But is it safe now? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get the phone out while we're travelling and I'm stood on the side of the phone. Hang on. Oh. We just want to say a really big thank you to our new patron Eric Phileas and also our new channel members who are Sylvia Line and Mike Miller. Thank you so much guys. We've come from, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, hi. 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 Well, as you can see, there are lots of mud boats along this stretch and we kept going until we could find a space. We wanted to be somewhere close to a bridge so that Anthony could hopefully park his car close to the canal. <laughs> well, it was really nice of Bill and Russell to drive all that way to come and see us. We feel really lucky when viewers become good friends. <laughs>
I mention that, they're like, no, you won't get the angle on it. Anyway. Ah, well, what time is it? I don't know, but this is a really bizarre shot. It is. It's 20 to 8. We're in the galley for a change. Yeah. We've had a really nice day, haven't we? Yeah. We've only done four locks, but um, our friends came We're a bit to rusty, meet us. Really. Yeah, we've not done any locks. Yeah. We've realised we've not done any locks ourselves for about ten months. weeks. That's a ten weeks. Months. <laughs> so argument. <laughs> so basically, we've been we've done the bridge water. We didn't have any locks on it at all. And the real weaver, which did which have locks, but they were manned. They manned. So, so we've not. Yeah, it was really weird getting to King's Lock. Is it called? Big Lock. Big Lock. Yeah, Big Lock at Middlewich. Yeah, we've been there for the festival. But didn't realise when we got there exactly where we were till we saw the pulp and I went, oh, look where we are. And it was really weird just having that lock. Yeah. Another three locks, which we've done. And our friends Bill and Russell have been with us all day. They've really yeah. enjoyed it, haven't they? I hope so, yeah. yeah. Russell so, was sat on the back thinking he was in Venice getting a gondola ride <laughs> while Bill helped me with the locks, didn't he? Yeah. So you probably hear sizzling. I'm just doing some bacon. We're going to have a simple tea. We're having crumpet with cheese yeah. and bacon on top. You wanted the chippy. I didn't want the chippy, but it was supposed to be... It supposed to be day one of our diet. Well, this isn't really a diet food, is no, it? No, but... it's not, but it's better, and we've got food in. It's such a shame. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, waste, don't like, don't yeah. like food to go to waste, so. Um, the other thing is, there were quite a lot of boats today going through the locks. They were really narrow, weren't they? It was, oh, well, there was, they were as narrow as That's the narrow Ashton one. Canal. That's a narrow one. Would you? Yeah, definitely. I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, <clears> maybe the contrast from us doing the big locks yeah. on the River Weaver, and then those locks that had about that much space. Well, that's what the Ashton Canal, do you know, because we've got wedged in one of them. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was probably as wide as the Ashton Canal. <laughs> so, we've had a really nice day. Didn't they meet us at 12 o'clock? Is that. Um, <coughs> yeah, exactly 12. Yeah, they met us at 12, and it's now nearly 8 o'clock at yeah. night. We've just dropped them off at their car, which was only. It took us from 12 o'clock to 8 to go 1.3 miles. Yeah, so it was like, why was dead short? So, I cycled back, they're like, oh, here. Yeah. And then literally five minutes come back. Well, actually, we're saying till eight o'clock. We got here about five, didn't we? Yeah. And, and we just got the lunch. Yes. Yeah. Really enjoyed yeah. the food, didn't we? We did. It was very nice. Um, at what was that book called? Top that lock. Called? Yeah. The top big, lock. Is it called top lock or big lock? Big lock. Big lock. I recommend it. Staff are friendly as well. Yeah. Right. We're going to go and get something to eat yeah. and try and settle down. It's very warm again tonight, but yeah. thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you've not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Keep your comments coming. Yeah. Don't forget to like the video. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.